a number one choice for cultural, inspirational, and spiritual programming. प्रेम सुषमा पति महादेव की जय वृंदावन भी हरी लाल की जय स्थान माई डियर फ्रेंड्स बिगिन दिस ब्यूटीफुल नाइट वंस मोर इन वर्शिप द डिवाइन लॉर्ड द नाइट वी वर्शिप मरियार पुरुषोत्तम श्री राम सदिस टाइम यू जॉन ए ब्यूटिफुल श्री राम एंड आरती ओम श्री गणेशाय नम ओम श्री सरस्वत नम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमो नम ओ नम शिवाय ओ नम शिवाय आरती श्री आरती श्री रामा आरती श्री रामा जी आरती श्री कब 
तबलो के हमरे कबरिया हो तबलो के हमरे कबरिया हो बजरंग बली तबलो के हमरे कबरिया हो बजरंग बली कपल पीछा न चोरे पीछा न चोरे रामा पीछा न चोरे कलियो के कपल पीछा न चोरे पीछा न चोरे रामा पीछा न चोरे पग पग पाप पग पग पाप पग पग पाप गचरिया हो बजरंग बली कबलो के हमरे कबरिया हो बजरंग बली बजरंग बली हो बजरंग बली 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 हो बजरंग बली बजरंग बली बजरंग बली बजरंग बली बजरंग बली बजरंग बली पवन सुधा हनुमान की जय बजरंग बली की जय असली जी सब लोग दर्शाते खड़सी As you begin this beautiful night, my dear friends, once more on behalf of the members of this wonderful home and family, we take this golden opportunity to say, "Aapko swagatam, namaskar, and a cordial welcome to each and every one who would have come to join with us on this beautiful night to receive blessings of the Divine Lord, Prabhu Shri Ramachandra and Mahavir Swami." On this auspicious night, once more to the members of these lesser Gandharvas, members of my wonderful group, we say Bhagwan's blessings to them. Once more to the Guru of the Om Shanti Ashram and the entire village, we say swagatam. Cordial welcome to you, to all other pundits, sadhus, to all those who are here. We say Jai Sita Ram to all tonight as well. To all those who tuned in via once more Sankhya Television, to Bhai Ji Ramesh Ji, and to all of viewers once more via Sankhya Television, we say Aapko Swagatam and a Jai Sita Ram. Special welcome to our beautiful Yajna. To all our Facebookers and to all those who tuned in via Facebook as well, a special welcome on this divine night. As you will once more experience the blessings and the energy of our Lord, true Ram Chandra Manas. At this time, as we begin, let us all sit upright. Let us close our eyes. Let us contemplate on the Divine Lord, that supreme form. And as we begin with the most powerful syllable, Om Kar, we join all together. Om. महाकाय सूर्यकुति समाप्रभा निर्विघ्न कुर मे देवा सर्वकाजेशु सर्वदा या देवी सर्वभूतेशु दुर्गा रूपे न संतिता नमस्ते से नमस्ते से नमस्ते से नमो नमः या देवी सर्वभूतेशु लक्ष्मी रूपे न संस्थिता नमस्ते से नमस्ते से नमस्ते से नमो नमः या देवी सर्वभूतेशु सरस्वती रूपे न संस्थिता नमस्ते से नमस्ते से नमस्ते से नमो नमः नमस्ते से नमस्ते से नमस्ते से नमो नमः ओम नमो नारायणाय नमः 
ओम त्र्यंबकेशराय नम ओम अचुनताय नम नागेन्द्राय त्रिलोचनाय भस्मांगरागा महेशराय निय शुदाय दिगंबराय तस्म नकाराय नम शिवाय तस्म नकाराय नम शिवाय ओ नम शिवाय ओ नम शिवा प्रणव पवन कुमार कलमन पावक ज्ञान धन जासु हृदया बस ही राम सर चन अतुलित बल नाम म शैलाबदेहम धनुजवन कृशान ग्राणीनाग्रगण्यम सकल गुण निधान वारणीश रघुपति प्रिय भक्त वात जात नमा चरण शरण मे कष्टों से रक्षा करो कष्टों से रक्षा करो पवन पुत्र हनुमा हाथ जोर विनती करो सुनो वे हनुमा संकट से रक्षा करो संकट से रक्षा करो हे अंजन केला पावन पुत्र हनुमा ब्यूटिफुल श्री हनुमान चालीसा तनाइज श्री गुरु चरण सरो जर जल निज मन मुकुर सुधा वर्ण रघुवर विमल जसु जोदाय कुपल चुद्धेन तनु जानी के सुमिर पवन कुमार बल बुद्धि विद्या हर कलेश पवन सुधा हनुमान की जय जय श्री राम जय हनुमान ज्ञान गुण सागर जय कपेश पुत्र पवन सुत नाम महावीर विकरम बजरंगी कुमति निवार सुमति के संगी कंसन भजन विराज सुवेशा कानन कुंडला कुछ तक सा महावीर बलवंता महावीर बलवंता जय हनुमान महावीर बलवंता पवन पुत्र हनुमान जय श्री राम कांधे मुंज जने शंकर सुवन के सरे नंदन तेज प्रताप महाजगवन विद्यावान गुनी चातुर राम काज कर बे को आतुर प्रभु चरित्र सुनि बे को रसिया राम लखन से 
दो पर पुर जाए जहाँ जन्म हरि भक्त कहाए और देवता चित्त नजर हनुमत से सर्व सुख कर संकट कटे मिते सब पीरा जो सुरा जो सुरा हनुमत बल वीर महावीर बलवंत महावीर बलवंत जय हनुमान महावीर बलवंत पवन पुत्र हनुमान जय बजरंग बली जय 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 हनुमान गुसाई कृपा कर गुरुदेव के नाय यो सत बार बात कर कोई यू कही बंदे महास हो जो यहाँ पर हनुमान चले सा हो सिद्धि सा के गौरे सा तुलसीदास दार चेरा की जय ना की जय ना दर दय महादेव महावीर बलवंत महावीर बलवंत जय हनुमान महावीर बलवंत पवन पुत्र हनुमान 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 पवन पुत्र हनुमान पवन पुत्र हनुमान पवन पुत्र हनुमान प्रेम सुषमा पति महादेव की जय बजरंग बली की पवन तनय संकट हरण मंगल मूरति राम लखन सीता सहित हृदय बस हो सुरभु आज वी बिगिन दिस ब्यूटिफुल नाइट माई फ्रेंड्स As we gather our thoughts and our energy to focus at the feet of Mahavir Swami Sri Hanuman as we concentrate on the beautiful form of Mariyara Purushottam Prabhu Ramachandra we begin our night in the golden pages of the Ramachandra Manas where we touch the feet of our Lord in Aranyakan in Aranyakan it speaks about so many things that are happening or that were happening then and it is happening even in today's world as we begin our night we always allow the devotees to tune the mind with so much energy that we just felt with Ishmi Hanuman Chalisa the vibrations the connection with Pawana Putra we take this moment once more to begin our night in devotion through our katha where it is said in Ramayan we remember where Prabhu Shri Ramachandra and Sita Mata and Lakshmana they were exiled and they had gone into the forest for 14 years while they had gone into the forest for the 14 years during the period of being in the forest they enjoyed every part of it except the part of the end it is said three quarter of the journey of prabhu shri ram and lakshman and sita mata through the forest was a beautiful one the journey was a wonderful one they were going through the forest and even though they were walking barefooted they enjoyed the valleys and the streams and the rivers they enjoyed the company of many holy saints and sadhus and the experience of the path of life that we will tread in this world we will experience good and bad expect in life that when you live every single day from the day of birth until you die you will experience good and bad life is filled of pairs of opposites it is felt it is filled with raga dvesha it is said wherever there is sweet there must be sour you cannot tell what is sweet if you have never tasted sour whatever there is happiness there will be unhappiness there will be sorrows wherever there is good there will be bad raga dvesha in bhagavatam today my friends even though prabhu ram came to the earth and he is lord of the universe even then he had to show the world as he stands for dharma how to rise above the bad parts of the world in his life how to rise above the troubles that he will face many people say you know what while living on the earth we go through so many problems i just want to go to god god shows us that even when prabhu ram came to the earth when you have this body the body will come with karmic reactions the body will come with troubles the body will come with negativity negativities the body will bring forth anger and hatred and jealousy and lust and greed and malice temptations and prabhu ram shows the world as the beautiful epitome of righteousness how to rise above this default of the body as we begin this night we will begin with a beautiful chant and when we chant to bajrangabali 
we say lord take this golden opportunity to worship our lord you are the one who's filled with peace lord hanuman ji has been known to be the one who's filled with inner peace he will sit amidst everything in the world and he will say jai shri ram mahavir swami's messages and the kathas of lord hanuman ji shows that no matter where he is jai shri ram he's about to fight ravana jai shri ram he's sitting at the feet of prabhu jai shri ram he has to cross the vast ocean to find sita devi no matter what problems or situations came before him jai shri ram meet it with the name of god no matter what takes place in your life meet it with the name of god my friends and meet it with a smile because when you put god first everything else works for you rama bolo rama bolo 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 ra rama bolo rama bolo 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 ra altogether ram bolo ram bolo 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 ra ram bolo ram bolo 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 ra ram bolo ram bolo 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 ram ram bolo ram bolo 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 ram om shri ram Worship of the Lord Prabhu Ramachandra tonight my friends sing along clap 
Wherever you are in this world and you've taken a moment to touch the feet of Bajranga Bali, you'll receive a spark of divinity. You'll speak an aura or receive an aura of protection. And all you need to do is to sing, to clap, and to feel the vibrations of our chants. Ram Bolo, Ram Bolo, Bolo. As we begin this beautiful night, friends, it is said when Prabhu Shri Ramachandra and Lakshmana Sita Mata, when they went into the forest and they were residing happily and comfortable, they enjoyed the bliss of meeting all the holy ones. It is a blessing to meet a holy person. It is a blessing to walk up to someone or to even be in the company of those who are chanting the name of God every single time. It is a blessing and to, for us to appreciate when we are in the company of the holy people. Ramayana says, Binu Sata Sangavi Vekarna Hoi Binu Sata Sangavi Vekarna Hoi Vivek, which means dispassion. It is said by the chanting, this constant repetition, and the company of the holy people, we eradicate all the negativities from our path automatically. Sometimes you say, you know what? If bad things are happening in my life, I have to pray, I have to do yajna. I have to do japa, I have to do chants and worship for God. And yes, it helps to elevate us. But sometimes also just being in the company of holy people helps to put us on the stage and on the first step to start elevating ourselves. Be in the company of those who are always engaged in prayer and worship and devotion. The right devotion with the right mentality and the right motive. Today, Prabhu Rama, he is Lord of the universe. And when he walks through the forest, he will go with Sita Mata. And everywhere he will see a little kutia, he will go there. He will visit the saints and the sadhus and the maharishis and the mahants and all those who are worshipping the deities and he will walk into the ashram and if anybody had any crisis or issue, he will resolve them. He was Prabhu Ramachandra. Alongside him was the incarnation of Sheshnag, who was none other than Lakshmana. And the Kadha begins where on that particular day, when the sister of Ravana saw Prabhu Ram, she says, if the Lord would have created such a wonderful being to walk on the earth, then I want him to be mine. I want him to belong to me. I want him to only walk with me and walk beside me. And on that day, as we know it, the Katha mentions that she tried to persuade the Lord to speak to her, to walk back with her, to go with her. Until Lakshmana walked up to her and he says, whoever you are, have respect for my brother. Have respect for the Lord of the universe. Do you respect God? That's a big question and a beautiful question. Do you respect God? If you are thinking in your mind as to that question, if you respect God, let us start very small first. Do you respect yourself? Do you respect the people around you? And then do you respect God? Do you respect yourself that when you walk into society, you dress in a certain way? You speak in a certain way? You live up to a standard in the world as that wonderful human being according to your dharma and your brought up see? Do you walk alongside the world according to your dharma, the path of righteousness? Bhagavad Gita says, Dharma Kshetre Kuru Kshetre Sama Veta Yuyut Savaha Mama Ka Pandava Shaiva Kima Kurvata Sanjaya That first word in Bhagavad Gita, in Bhagavatam, which simply says, Dharma Kshetre Kuru Kshetre Dharma, first and foremost. Do you walk and tread a path of righteousness? First, you must respect yourself. And how do you do it? If you want the world to respect you, you must walk on a righteous path. You must live on a good path. You must do good things. You must help people. You must motivate people. And they will look up to you. You must be a person in society according to your bratopsy and your dharma. You live on a certain role and discipline. That when they see you, when the world sees you, when they simply hear your name, they can attach discipline and positivity to it. They say, you know what? Wow. The name alone says, divine. The name alone says a positive energy. It is one that the minute you hear the name, you want to become attached, you want to meet, you want to greet. It is like hearing a holy saint or a sadhu or swami of Bharadesh, India, 
coming into our lands. And when we hear that great name, you just want to be there. To those who would have been to India, to those who would have visited Baba Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai, it is said that Sai Baba sat down right there in his ashram in Prashanti. And when Baba sat there, millions of people around the world left what they were doing just to come there. People said they had dreams. People said they felt an energy. People said that they just heard his name out aloud. People said they just saw him walking in their businesses. And while he's all the way in India, people were all over the world witnessing and hearing and visualizing and having the energy of him in their homes and in their rooms and wherever they were around the world. And they were connected to just drift towards him. His name, Sri Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai. We wanted to be there. Everybody wanted to go there. To those who've ever been there, there were thousands and thousands of people on a daily basis lined up in lines to just walk in, just to step on the same ground that he walked on. That is how powerful the name was. He would walk on the ground of the ashram and people just wanted to be there. People just wanted to sit there. If, you would, if it were to be announced that you will come and give a speech, they are crowded and filling the atmosphere just to be there. They are squeezing up there. Even if you are sitting at the last point in the ashram and you could barely see, you feel contented and peace. You know why? Because I am here. When that name utters, Baba has entered the ashram, you feel at ease. You just want to glance the little robe, the little orange robe moving there and you say, Wow, I'm in his presence. That is how powerful the name was in itself. Be connected to that wonderful energy. Respect yourself, my friends, and bring up your dharma. After you respect you, then you respect the people around you. You respect the people in your company. You treat them as though God is walking around you. You treat them as though you love them, you respect them, you acknowledge them, you appreciate them, you give gratitude towards them. You appreciate the little things that they're doing before you. In life, sometimes it doesn't hurt for the husband. Sometimes they say, but Dolehin, you make a nice roti today. You might say, yeah, Baba, I eat plenty of rotis, 40 something years now we married now, don't study that. But sometimes it takes one little word to create back the spark. It takes one little word to just create a love or a union or something that is positive within a home. Sometimes all it takes is for a child to say, Mommy, you really get up three o'clock to cook for me? Thank you, Mom. It takes a little word of appreciation to go a long way. And then most importantly, do you show up or would you show respect? And do you show respect to God? How do you respect God? You live discipline in the world. You live according to dharma. You live according to the path of righteousness. You do good things. You motivate people. You inspire people. You live a, a disciplined life. As we say, lead by example. And you allow the world to follow, my friends, in the path of Godhead. In our scripture, Lakshmana says, Have you no respect for my brother? And if you have no respect for my brother, then how can I even respect you? Leave from here, please. The sister of Ravana, she says, Whoever you are, I did not come to see you. I came to see Sri Ram. And when she mentioned thus, scripture tells us that Lakshmana says, if you want to meet my brother, you will have to meet me first. I will protect my brother at all cost. Will you protect your family at all cost? Listen. Sri Ram Jai Jai Rama Shri Ram Jai Rama Jai Jai Shri Ram 
सबको श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम वृंदावन में हरिलाल की जय वन रिस्पेक्ट मस्ट बी गिवन माई फ्रेंड्स लक्ष्मण सेज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रीच माई ब्रदर यू मस्ट पास थ्रू मी फर्स्ट सो लक्ष्मण स्टैंड इन फ्रंट ऑफ प्रभु राम एंड वेन इट इज सैड दिस सिस्ट ऑफ रावण शी कंप्लेन अगेन एंड अगेन लक्ष्मण माई फ्रेंड्स ही टुक इज आर and he took the sharp edge of the arrow and it is said he scratched on the nose cutting the nose of shuparnaka he then cut the ears of the sister of ravana and being enraged now in anger oh, look at how you have made me look today look at what you've done to my body look at what you've done to make me look from a most beautiful person you've destroyed my face today you will pay the price watch and you see and she turned around and she walked away when she walked away angrily lakshmana he felt at peace the problem has left devotees while suparnaka had a good heart on that day while her face and while her ears and her nose was disfigured and cut she felt at that point that her beauty had disappeared what creates and what shows the beauty of a person is it just the physical body Many of us take time in our daily schedule. Many of us take time in our daily life to stand in front of the mirror for how long? <laughs> how long do you stand in front of the mirror? So the both these are tuned in via Facebook. Can't see how many people here tonight, right? So how many people here tonight took 15 minutes to stand in front of that mirror to get ready before you come? Let me see. Let me start small. Five. Yeah, Narish. Ten, fifteen, good. Half an hour, forty-five. <laughs> One hour. Jai Bhagwan. They really say the dola had is free the dola him. They can't see, but even right here when I say one hour. <laughs> and even two hours right even two hours how long do we take to dress ourselves before we go out how long do we take to look at, at ourselves in front of the mirror when we look at ourselves yes it is said in many scriptures you must love yourself before you love anybody else but how long will you stare at yourself to not just love yourself but how much will you allow the ego of yourself to once more be all into you forgetting that the world still exists It is said we must always ensure that we look wonderful and look beautiful and look handsome and look everything else but are we becoming too much into ourselves sometimes Suparnaka was like this a scratch on the nose the ears has been cut you know what you've destroyed my life and for that you will die think about it think of the extent of the mentality of Suparnaka think of the mentality you've simply scratched my skin and today you will die for that how much was she into herself that that was that big problem in the world that today what happened as a result ramayan made its name as the epic because of the ego of suparnaka she turned around and she walked away and she stamped her feet and she walked away and while walking lakshmana says prabhu as long as i'm here the world will worship and respect you 
the world will love you they will see what god's worship is supposed to be you stand for your dharma and your dharma will protect you you stand for your god and your god will protect you no matter what in the world people will try to disfigure us people will try to break us people will try to break your mind people will try to stop you friends when you pray to god forget the world concentrate and worship the almighty that is why when sant valmiki ji and tulsi das when they sat down by themselves and they were about to write the ram chitramanas the birds were passing by and they looked at the atmosphere and they saw the birds it is said animals were running across and they stopped to pause and to listen and they decided you know what today i will write this great epic and nobody will disturb me it is said hunters would pass in the village they would pass in the forest while they were writing and nothing will disturb them coming to the end of writing the ram chitramana even valmiki had encountered people who came up to him and said what are you doing in the forest by yourself leave and he turned a blind eye when you pray forget the world this is what they created jo sumirata sidhi ho ganayak kari vada vadana karau anugrah so budhirasi subha guna sadana jo sumirata se diho ganana ग्रहसो बोधिरा से शुभ गुण सदना no 
वृंदावन भी हरिलाल की जय पवन सुत हनुमान की जय फ्रेंड्स एंड भक्त वन लक्ष्मण स्वरप प्रभु रामचंद्र दिस सिस्टर ऑफ रावण वेन बाक नाउ तो रावण शी सेज भाई ब्रदर यू आर द पावरफुल मोस्ट पावरफुल वन दैट आई कुड थिंक अबाउट लुक एट व्हाट पीपल हैव डन टू मी लुक एट हाउ आई लुक नाउ आई नीड टू हाइड माय फेस आई नीड टू हाइड माय सेल्फ नोबडी विल लव मी फॉर द वे आई एम एनीमोर व्हाई डू पीपल लव अस For what reason do people love us? For how we look, for how we dress, for how we physically appear to them, or is it that people should love us for who we really are, our qualities, our character, being a noble person? Many people look and with the physical appearance we judge immediately. Look at him. Look at how he walks. Have you have have you ever heard the word pakkar? <laughs> have you ever heard the word puhar? Yeah. Sometimes you hear people say it out all look at he but he real puhar boy but he real pakkar boy Do people judge us because of how we look and how we operate in the world or is it that we should be judged by our quality our decency our discipline our inborn nature our swabhav who we really are from the inside Remember the true beauty of an individual lies in the qualities of that individual The true beauty of an individual lies in the character, the personality, how he lives with people, how he lives in the world as an individual, how he works around situations and how he coexists with the people around him without animosity and without enemies. Do you have enemies in your life? Are you an enemy to people in your life? Probably. But do you have enemies? It is said a purely a pure souled person is one my friends that even if the world becomes an enemy to you in your heart your conscience remains free do not hold on to enemies and animosity but live with a pure mind and a pure conscience so that when you are ready to leave this world you leave with nothing at hand no karmas to come back and pay for just the day in a puja a devotee was reminding me about this when a child is born the hand of the child the child is like this right why to hold on to mommy scientifically according to one of the god sons today It is said scientifically the child has been born in such a way to grab and to hold on to hold on to mommy and never let go. It is the attitude and the nature that will simply be instilled instilled in the child from birth from the heartbeat of the mother's connection. Hold on and do not let go so the child will hold on tight. It is said the child comes in the world with barely any karma so the hands are closed with nothing. But when an individual dies and you look at that personality they die with the hands like this uh, spread out. filled with the karmas to take back into the astral world and then i was giving the example that in life if you want to see as a little test how much karma you have so far then just rest your hand right there without even putting energy into it rest it right there and with no energy see if it closes in or see if it remains open and see from this point how much karma you have so far You'll check if you go home. You might feel bad <laughs> if you hold it like this and you're not closing in, and people watching you might be like, "Yeah, it's closing in, man." See how much karma so far. Why with the hands? It is because the hands has our destiny. Remember, we spoke about it last night. The destiny has been written in our hands by the devotees on the sixth day and the twelfth day when we were born. So when you feel it, the energy through your destiny, how much karma do you have remaining in this world? How much do you have to still pay for? Or are you now relieving yourself of karma so the hands are closed in three quarter at least? Today, think about it. We live in society and we create karmas upon karmas every single day. And while we are living with these karmas, all it takes is for you to be simple and humble and rid yourself. While she is all into the physicality of herself, she calls on her brother and she says, "Please destroy the person who has made me look like this." She doesn't see that beauty comes from inside but the rage from within her is only allowing her to build the ego more to show the world that she needs to look better on the outside it is an automatic reaction that people will love you when what is the inside 
or in the inside reflects on the outside. But if outside is the only beauty that you know, nobody knows what is going on inside there. Today, friends, being simple is the way of the world. Do you remember this beautiful bhajan? Rama guna gai ke Rama guna gai ke Magana bhaya tulasi Rama guna gai ke Magana bhaya tulasi Ram guna gai ke Beautiful bhajan that speaks about the simplicity of life how simple you are supposed to be in the world. Not because you have a bigger house than the neighbor. Not because your house is more pretty than your brother one. Not because your car is bigger or more expensive. Not because you dress better than somebody else makes you feel that you're better than anybody. Not because you can probably afford something that somebody else can't means in the midst of them, you put them down and you show them that, you know what? I could do that, man. Don't worry about it. You, whenever you're ready, you know, I know it's hard. Not because we can do better than some people means that we must show the world that we are better than people. Remember, in the eyes of God, we are all equal. Beautiful bhajan goes like this. When Ravana heard the plight of his sister, he got up in a rage and he decided to now march now to find a solution to destroy the Shriram. Anger and rage started to build inside him only because of seeing the physicalities of the world when life is not about the physicalities of the world it is not about the headaches of the world but simplicity creates the easiest way out of any situation ram guna gai ke rama guna gai ke rama guna gai ke rama guna gai ke magana bhai Ah, Magana Bhai, oh, Magana Bhai, so let's see. Ram Guna Gai Ke, Magana Bhai, so let's see. Ram Guna Gai Ke. Raja Tali Hathi Gura, Para Kisa Jai Ke, Raja Tali Hathi Gura. चले हाथ गोरा पर किस जाए के सरु चले भूया भूया साधु चले भूया भूया चुंती बताए के मगन भय आ मगन भय ओ मगन भय तुलसी राम गुण गाय के मगन भय तुलसी राम गुण गाय के Remember the beautiful bhajan says that when a king travels and he's riding on his golden chariot to the man who walks on the road he will look down at him and he will laugh and say look at you I am the king when you see me you must get off the road respect me he doesn't care where he's going he knows that I'm better than you because I have a vehicle to go by you go ahead however long you take to go from point A to point B I don't care I am better than you just move when you see me there are some people in today's world who live like that when you see me I must move aside when you see me coming you must make way some people think like that my friends instead of unity Friends, we split up the world of love and devotion. The bhajan says, Raja chale hathi gora, pala ki sajaye ke. Raja chale hathi gora. So the Raja, the king, he goes on the chariot and he holds the reins of the horses. And while he's moving forward, he will look down at the man on the road and he will laugh at him. But you know what? The man looks at the king and with a bigger mentality, with the better person inside, he says, look at this fool. He has a chariot and the horse is taking him and he thinks he's big. God has blessed me with my feet and with my own energy. I will walk from the same point A to point B and I will take my time and along the journey of life. I will enjoy the little things that I see. He can't even enjoy nature. He can't enjoy nothing he sees because he's just moving. I can take my time and I can see the blessing of the world. So he says, Sadhu chale bhuya bhuya, sadhu chale bhuya bhuya, chunti bachai ke. राजा सोहे महल महला कमरी बचाए के राजा सोहे महल महला राजा सोहे महल महला कमरी बचाए के सर चले भूया भूया सारू चले भूया भूया मृत चले बचाए के so the king, he lives in a palace and he has a big house, he has a big mahal, a big palace. And when he goes to sleep in his big room with his nice big bed, 
he lies down there, but with all the responsibilities of a kingdom, he can't even sleep properly. But the man of God, Sadhu chale bhuya bhuya, sadhu chale bhuya bhuya, mrik chale bachai ke. The man of God has nothing to worry about. So if he does even have a home while walking, and night falls, he could lie down on the ground. He could simply lie down, look at the stars and say, Lord, under the tree that I'm lying under, thank you for the cover, the blanket of the skies. Thank you for the cover of the trees above me. And thank you for the beauty that I see in the sky with all the stars so that I can sleep happily and comfortable. A simple man appreciates life. People appreciate. Good people, pure-hearted people appreciate. And to those whose hearts are messed up in the world, it is the hardest thing for somebody to say, I appreciate you. Simple people will always show gratitude in the world. Raja Kai Puri Kachaudu Ladu Ki Mangai Ke Raja Kai Puri Kachaudi Raja Kai Puri Kachaudu Ladu Ki Mangai Ke Saru Kai Sukhi Satwa Sadhu Kai Sukhi Satwa Puniya Malai Ke Raja Kai Puri Kachauri Kama? When you hear Puri and Kachauri and Ladu Ki Mangai Ke Are kya baat? You get hungry one time Ladu, Chapati, food you think about something to eat. When the king sits down there, anything he wants to eat, he has a snap of finger and everything comes. Whatever he wants, it will come. Because he's the king, he's the ruler, he can command. But a man of God, think about it. When the king sees food, he doesn't care. He starts to eat. Ravishly, he will eat anything that he wants. A man of God may walk on the road. Sadhu ka e suki sattva, sadhu ka e suki sattva, puni yamalaike. A man who walks on the road and probably barely has anything to eat, the minute he gets a mouthful, Lord, thank you so much, Sri Krishna Arpanam. Do you thank God for what you have? Do you thank God for the clothes that you wear? There are some people who have to wear one piece of clothes every day of the week. There are some people who probably have one pair of clothes when you have to go to a function and you can't afford something else. There are people who thank God for everything they have because they barely have. And there are people who have an excess and we forget to even say, Lord, thank you. Who are we in the world? Are we simple-minded? Or are we the ones who are filled with the ego? Ram guna gai ke, rama guna gai ke, Ram guna gai ke, rama guna gai ke, Ma gana bhaiya, a ma gana bhaiya, oh ma gana bhaiya tulasi. Ram guna gai ke, ma gana bhaiya tulasi. Ram guna gai ke, rama guna gai ke, Ram guna gai ke, rama guna gai ke, rama guna gai ke, rama guna gai ke. Vrindavan Mi Hari Lal Ki Friends and Bhaktas Tonight when Ravana heard that his sister had been ridiculed He dropped everything and he says to the man who would have done this I will destroy his life Somebody find out what has happened He sent some of his best ministers and army From his kingdom to go find out who it was it is said when the best of the ministers went down there, the best of the army went down, Lakshmana confronted them before they could even reach Prabhu Ramachandra. And he says, where have you come from? Have you come from that, that woman who has come to, to contradict the mind of my brother? If you walk further, I will destroy you. And they walked further thinking that I've come from the clan of Ravana, we are powerful. They thought to themselves that Ravana would have been the best person, the most powerful in the world. So they overstepped their boundaries. And while overstepping, what happened? Lakshmana mounted his arrow and he destroyed them all one by one. Bhaktas, there's always that limit line that we must know not to cross in life. There must always be that line in the world when we think that we're becoming too much engrossed in the world, pull back. Probably I'm not feeling myself now. You know what, I'm, I've been a person who prays a lot and today this doesn't feel saintly. Probably this part of my life doesn't feel holy enough. Something is happening. My conscience is beating me. Something is probably wrong. You know what? Let me take a moment to step back a little bit. Today, Lakshmana destroyed them. And when the news had reached once more, Ravana, that his three best ministers of the army had been destroyed, he says, I will take it upon myself to do what I have to do today. So what does he do? He leaves his kingdom and he goes to the shores of the ocean. 
and being at the shores of the ocean he meets one of his sorcerer he goes up to the sorcerer and while he sees him there he's asking him now he's saying what are you doing here do you have time i want to have a conversation with you i want to speak with you so at that point the sorcerer says well i'm not living far from here let us go to my home and he allows the king Ravana to follow him. He feels nice. He feels special. The king has left his kingdom to come down to meet me. Something has to be nice and right. Something has to be good. The king has left, left everything to come and look for me. So he has reached his home and he opens the door and he says, Raja, one minute, one minute. He goes into the home and he prepares a tali. He prepares a tari with a taria with, with an arti and he takes a lot of water. And then after a few minutes, he opens the door. He says, Prabhu, Ravana, Andaraye. Baitona. And he washes the feet. Remember, Ravana was a great guru also. Ravana was a great philosopher. Ravana was a great Sanskrit scholar. He was one of the best in the world, in the universe. At that point, he was respected. Even though he had his ups and downs, he was respected as the most powerful on the earth. Even though many would have feared him, he was respected. That individual, that sorcerer, was none other than Marij. Marij says, Ravana, under aye, baitona, take a seat. And Marij takes water and he starts to wash the feet of the Guru. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwaraha, Guru Sakshat Param Brahma, Tasme Shri Guru Vedamaha. It is said while he would wash the feet of the Guru, he will tell Ravana after washing the feet, wait one minute, and he will go and bring water for Ravana. When a guest comes to your home, how do you treat them? Yeah. Tell them, Miedi. Tell them, come back. Tell them, I say, I'm not home. <laughs> how do you treat the guests when they come by you? You treat them with warm love, my friends, with a respect, with a beautiful welcome. Because when they leave unsatisfied, they take barakat from your home and they go. When they leave unsatisfied, not knowing my friends, we would not know. They leave unsatisfied and they take some of the happiness of our home and they go with it. Because they came to your abode and they left unsatisfied. He doesn't want this to happen, Marij. So he says, you're a guru. I pay pranams to you. Let me take the water that has washed your feet and let me sprinkle it everywhere. Drink of something, Ravana, please. And after doing everything, he comes and he sits down and he says, Ravana, you are the greatest of all. What has allowed you to leave your kingdom and to come down to my little kutia, my little home? Please tell me, how can I help you, Ravana? You are Raja, you are king. How can I help you? And Raja says, do you know you are one of my most powerful sorcerers? Do you know I appreciate you? Do you know in the past for everything you'd have done, every time I called you, I've treated you to the best because you are the best that I have. And now he starts to think. Somebody come by you and they start to now speak nice about you. How you call it? Mama guy. They start to mama guy you. You realize something is up because he won't leave a kingdom and come down just to talk nice to me. Yeah, you're nice and you're good. Let me give you something. No, no, no. Something wrong here. Your mama guide me. Ravana, kya hua? Batauna, what is wrong? Tell me. And Ravana says, listen, let me tell you. Do you know that man that people are talking about? The man who is walking in the forest? He says, are you talking about Sri Ram? Hare, listen. That man who is walking in the forest. Let me tell you about him. You call him Sri Ram, whatever his name is, I don't know. That man who is walking in the forest... I have something I want to tell you and I want you to listen and before Ravana speaks he says oh I know I know you see that person you're talking about his name is Ram Prabhu listen he is the Lord everybody's talking about him he's Lord of the universe coming on the earth and Ravana starts to bite his teeth now he starts to grind his teeth now but he's listening because he wants a favor when people want a favor to use you, they come and they sit quiet and they wait and they wait and they grind until time right and then they say, all right, well, hear what? You know what? I can't take it no more. I want you to do this and I want you to do that. Is that you like it or not? When they can't take it anymore, then they come straight forward, right? Marij starts to praise the name of Prabhu Ram. 
Why is he praising? He says, Ravana, let me tell you. You remember one day you called me to go to the forest and you wanted me to destroy one of the ashrams and you wanted me to throw dirt into the fire? It was that same Ram Prabhu who took an arrow and when the arrow struck me, I felt thousands of miles away. He is powerful. Do you want him to come and join you? That's why you come to ask me for something? What have you come to ask me? And he's praising. Haven't you heard his name? दूर करे वो ही संकट तेरे दूर करे वो ही संकट तेरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे प्रभु का नाम प्रभु का नाम प्रभु का नाम जपो मन मेरी हैवन यू हर्ड इज नेम ही इज श्री राम ही लिव्स माई फ्रेंड्स इन फॉरेस्ट एट दिस पॉइंट इन टाइम बट इज नेम गोज फॉर माइल्स दूर करे वो ही संकत तेरे प्रभु का नाम जपो मन मेरे इज नेम इज पॉफुल ही हैज टेकन एन अवतार ही हैज कम फ्रॉम अ बब डोंट यू नो रावना हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे बोलिए हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे प्रभु का नाम प्रभु का नाम प्रभु का नाम जपो मन में एंड ही इज प्रेजिंग अगेन एंड अगेन ही इज प्रेजिंग दैट नेम इज पावरफुल रावण आई वॉन्ट यू टू लिसन डू यू वॉन्ट मी टू गो मीट हिम एंड टॉक टू हिम फॉर यू रावण से इज एग्जैक्टली सो बट लिसन आई वॉन्ट यू टू ट्रिक हिम I want you to befriend him. I want you to fool him up. How many friends in your life fool you up? How many friends in your life trick you? How many friends in your life are false and they they are laughing with you but they really don't like you? Reality of the world, my friends. Reality of the world. Don't wait and when they backbite you and they cut you down, you say, "Oh God, I should have known." Do not expect, my friends, that the friendship of the world will last forever. people will go to mandir together even in the name of god they will go to mandir together and be the best people together and in the end when they fall out so you hear somebody say well i was only using him because gena right to the temple <laughs> i was only using him because i was gena right to the yajna i really don't like him and you hear the littlest things that people have the problems with who are your friends who will stand with you as he saying goes a friend in need as a friend indeed who will really be there in the time of need when you really need them who's a true friend that you can trust when you really need them today ravana is asking now marij he says suna ho priya brata ruchi sushila main ka chukar bhi lalit nar leela तुम पाव कहो करो निवास जाओ लग कर हो निशि चर करना सा बोली एवरीबरी श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम हे प्रिय हे सुंदर पवित्र धर्म के पालन करने वाले सुनो मैं अब कुछ मनोहर मनुष्य लीला करूंगी इसलिए तुम तब तक अगन में निवास करो जब तक मैं इन चारों रे का कष्ट करो है मारी चेज रावण आई विल नेवर डू एनी थिंग हर्ट प्रभु राम ही इज पावरफुल रावण आई विल नेवर बी फ्रेंड ही इज लॉर्ड ऑफ द यूनिवर्स आई विल नेवर बी फ्रेंड हिम कैन यू बी फ्रेंड गॉड कैन यू ट्रिक गॉड can you fool god can you think or do you think you can hide and do something and god will never know in the world can you be friend god my friends 
God knows your mind. God knows your intentions. He knows what is to be. He knows your destiny. He knows what will happen. The best you can do is be your true self before God. When you sit to pray, there are no stories. God, you know my heart. You know my life. You know what is to happen. You know what will happen. Please, Lord, guide me. Friends, at that point, when Mary decided to say, Ravana, I will not do such a thing to befriend God. Ravana says, he says, think carefully now. Listen to me. Think carefully. I'm in a real, really good, relaxed mind right now. Think carefully. And before you give your answer, think about your family. Think about your nice wife. Think about your children. In other words, he starts threatening him. In the mind of Maharaj, who are you to threaten me when it comes to my family? Who are you to threaten me when it comes to my Lord? People will, in the mind of mentally, to try to break you. People will threaten us physically. Have your feet in the Divine Lord. While Maharaj thinks about it, this is what comes to his mind. Listen, my dear friends, Maharaj thought about it in his mind. Ravana is threatening me that if I don't take this moment to decide that I will stand up according to his wishes, then Ravana will destroy my family. He thinks about it and in his mind, he says, you know what? Ramayana says in Aranya Khan, Tab Maharaj ne man himan anuman kiya ki shastri ber jane wale hai. Samarth Swami Murka, Danavan, Vaidya, Bhat, Kavi, or Rasyone, no logo se Vaid karne me kalyan nahi. Kalyan nahi hai. He says in life, there are nine people that you should never become an enemy with. Who are these nine? You must never become enemies with certain people. It will not benefit you to become enemies. He says first, it, is, it will not benefit you to become an enemy of somebody who is armed. If somebody is armed or they have a weapon and you are their enemy, what will happen? <laughs> Ram Nam Satya hai. If somebody has a gun and you are their enemy, what will happen? If somebody has a sword and you are their enemy, what will happen? They will destroy you. He says it is not good to become an enemy of an armed person. 
It is not good to become an enemy of one who knows your secrets. Because they will tell everybody. It doesn't benefit you to become an enemy of a powerful person, a powerful master. Because even spiritually, they can destroy you. It will not benefit you to become an enemy of a wealthy man. Because with wealth, people can destroy you. With wealth, they can find their way around to do anything that they want and they can destroy you. It does not benefit you to become an enemy of a doctor. Jai Bhagwan. You might put your lungs where your liver is. <laughs> he might replace some part and something will go wrong. He might cut you in a wrong spot and he might destroy you. You never become an enemy with a doctor or one wrong medicine. Jai Bhagwan. It does not benefit you to become an enemy of a spokesperson. Because in the public, they will speak about you and they'll discredit you. It doesn't benefit you to become a, an enemy with a poet. Because blindly they will write about you. And then you will hear about it. And last this is, and this one I think is the most important one. <laughs> it does not benefit you to become an enemy with a cook. With a cook. Why? Itna tu karna swami java prana Yeah, they could poison you. Something they could put in that food and after that, Ram, Nam, Satya, Hai, Dong to the shores. <laughs> Marriage is thinking, you know what? He's a powerful person. He's a wealthy person. He's an arm person. You know what? I can't become an enemy of Ravana. But then how can I save my family? Would I have to sacrifice my life? And then he thinks for a second, but wait a minute. Probably that is the best thing to do. Rather than dying at the hands of Ravana, I can die at the hands of Prabhu. So either or I have to die. But you know what? At least the sight, my last sight will be the, uh, the sight of the beautiful form of the Divine Lord. So he takes it upon himself and he says, you know what? Ravana, what do you want me to do? You know what? Leave my family alone. I will do what it takes. And at that point, he gets up and he says, you know what? Forget my family. I will do it. What do you want me to do? Ravana says, distract that one who is called Ram Prabhu. My sister has been ridiculed. I will teach them how I can ridicule that woman who walks with them as well. And there the plan is set. And while the plan is set, Maharaj will take his form. He will transform and he will take his form like we know. To have the form of the golden deer. And will try to distract the world, my friends. He will try to distract the divine Lord. In our scripture tonight, it is said when... Lord Hanumanji had gone to meet Sugriv. In that part of our Ram Manas. He met with Sugriv. And there Sugriv wanted to overcome his brother Bali for the kingdom. And after Sugriv conquered the kingdom. Sugriv had gone to live in his kingdom now. And he says it's the monsoon season. After the monsoon season. At that point I will be able to now help you to fight the war. And to retrieve Sita Mata. But while he was engrossed in the niceties of the kingdom, time is passing and he forgot all about the fight of the war and the fight for Sita Mata. And who came there that day? When we forget who we are and we want to stand up for even God. You know some, do you stand up for God? Do you know people who stand up for God? Do you know how many people stand up in the altar and they look at the Murti and they say, God, why? Why? Tell me. Tell me why. Why me? And they're shouting at the Murti. And they're yelling at the Murti. And they're asking God, why me? You're better, you know. <laughs> there are some people, they don't know where to vent. So they go into the mandir. Jai Bhagwan. Bhagwan has to listen to it. And Bhagwan smiles and he says, look at my devotee. Look at the manner in which my devotee is now taking out his frustration. When Hanumanji stood there, he says, Jai Shri Ram. He says today, Sugriv, you need to wake up. Wake up yourself in the world that you're living in and start dedicating yourself to your master. The Lord will help you and he will save you and he will show you again and again, time and time again. He will show you how he will save you through his miracles and his goodness. But when we sit down in the world, we become lazy and we forget how to be grateful. 
Lord Hanumanji says, one of the greatest sins in the world is to be ungrateful to my Lord. And if you're ungrateful, I will wake you up with the gada if I have to. I will wake you up with a blow if I have to. Tonight, wake up mentally, my friends. We are living in a world where the pandemic is taking over the world. And before we take a moment to sit and pray in our homes, what are we doing? We are sitting, my friends, every day and looking for the days to pass and the weeks to pass and when will COVID done and when we will come out and when we will be able to go back to the Ajna and when we will go to the temples rather than sit in your home by yourself and forget the world and say, Om Namah Shivai. What are you waiting for to pray? Do you know what it is with us? People, devotees of God, they give so much excuses in the world when it comes to pray. Say God and well, it's COVID. We can't pray. We can't go outside. I don't have a good mass to go. I have, don't have a proper mass to probably attend. I can't do it. All the excuses in the world when it comes to God, we have it. Complain when it comes to prayer. But when it comes to everything else, everything else is good. Listen, friends. Pauna Sudha Hanumane Ki Jai Kapisha We wake up with the energy of Lord Hanumanji tonight. Jai Jai Kapisha Jai Kapisha Anumanta Jai Kapisha Jai Jai Kapisha Jai Kapisha Anumanta Jai Kapisha Jai Jai Kapisha Jai Kapisha Anumanta Jai Jai Kapisa, Jai Kapisa Hanumanta, Jai Kapisa, Jai Jai Kapisa, Jai Kapisa Hanumanta. spark of Pawanaputra and while we're here don't just sit there wherever you are in the world to all those who tuned in tonight take a moment and wake up that energy clap sing feel the vibrations of our Lord Dahana Jamavantara Lanka Dahana Lanka Lanka Dahana J 
ಜಮವಂತ ಲಂಕಿನಿ ಸಂಹರ ಹನುಮಂತ ಲಂಕಿನಿ ಸಂಹರ ಹನುಮಂತ ಜೈ ಕಪೀಶ ಜೈ ಜೈ ಕಪೀಶ ಜೈ ಕಪೀಶ ಹನುಮಂತ ಸಚಿದನಂದ ಪ್ರಾಣ ದೇವ ಸಚಿದನಂದ ಸಚಿದನಂದ ಜೈ ಕಪೀಶ ಹನುಮಂತ ಜೈ ಕಪೀಶ ಜೈ ಜೈ ಕಪೀಶ ಜೈ ಕಪೀಶ ಹನುಮಂತ ಹನುಮಂತ ಬಾಬಾ ಹನುಮಂತ ಹನುಮಂತ ವೀರ ಹನುಮಂತ ಹನುಮಂತ ಬಾಬಾ ಹನುಮಂತ ಹನುಮಂತ ವೀರ ಹನುಮಂತ ಹನುಮಂತ ಬಾಬಾ ಹನುಮಂತ ಹನುಮಂತ ವೀರ ಹನುಮಂತ ಹನುಮಂತ on that day my dear friends he received when marriage to get upon himself to go before the lord yes he dazzled the lord by looking like the golden deer yes he at that point through temptation he blinded the eyes of sita devi because she wanted that deer but on that moment where he was caught by prabhu shri ramachandra it is said when the arrow struck him and he fell down the voice that came out or that first word jai shri ram jai shri ram he called out to the name of god and like it says in that bhajan govinda naam le kar tab pran tan se nikale that i devotees in our good times in our not so good times in our happy moments in our sad moments do not forget god when we celebrate remember god that is why we are here tonight because a beautiful family celebrates and in this celebration of life god must be first and priority shri mahapati mahadev ki jai vrindavan me hari lal ki with this my friends we end our beautiful message tonight and while we end the message remember to always stay simple and humble and you will achieve the highest of goals in the world at this time let us all stand now as we join on our final aarti aarti shri ram mayan ji ki ramayan ji ki kirati kalita litasi api ki aarati shri ramayan ji ki ramayan ji ki kirati kal 
मम देव देव तमेव सर्व मम देव देव ओ शांति 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 हरिओ कृष्ण विष्णु श्रीधर माधव मधुसूदन Ram, 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 Ram,
प्रेमसुषमापति महादेव की जय वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय पवन सुत हनुमान की जय सत्य सनातन धर्म की जय 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 सीताराम आसने सब लोग Sankia Television is not only the first Hindu TV station in Trinidad and Tobago, but Sankia TV also has the most coverage. You can find